What's up everyone, it's Be The Installer, and I'm here today to install a Samsung frame on the wall right here. And in this case, I'm not gonna conceal the wire because it's in a rental unit, and I actually wanna see how good it looks with the wire on the outside of the wall. So this will be a really straightforward installation of this frame, show you how it looks with the wire exposed, and at the end, I'll go over the reasons why that I'm not going to conceal that wire and kind of the complications involved if you plan on installing that and put the wire in the wall and all that. So definitely make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video. And let me know if you're gonna install the Samsung frame in the wall, are you 100% going to conceal that wire? Or after seeing this video and seeing how good it looks, will you leave it exposed and try to make it look neat? Let me know in the comments below. So getting right into the installation, obviously there's an area here that I want to install the TV on, but in order to install it there, I need to get some measurements off the back of the TV. So let's get down there, get the brackets on the TV, kind of put the mounts up, see where they sit, and I'll show you a real straightforward way of measuring it up so that we can transfer it to the wall and do our business up there. So right before we get in the install, I need to go over what tools you'll need for this job. Of course, it's always useful to have a pencil and a tape measure so that we can measure everything up. And we'll need a screwdriver to install the brackets on the TV and normally to tighten some things up on the wall. A stud finder to find the studs in the wall if needed and a level of course to make sure everything looks nice and neat. And then a power drill and some drill bits to make the holes for where those bolts are going to go. That's pretty much it for this one because I'm not gonna be installing anything inside the wall. So let's get to the brackets. So this is the 50 inch size of the 2021 Samsung frame. And it has two separate brackets here. They have a L and an R on them so you know which is which. And I've already installed this once but I'll show you real quickly how this goes because it's a really straightforward process. Basically you have a piece of black uh, tape inside the mount box. You just put it on with the arrow facing in, uh, this one facing the other direction. And then you have this small bolt with a little washer on it that covers it and you put it through um, the hole here and then just screw it in clockwise. Very straightforward and simple process. And then once you have that screwed in all the way, it allows for this to move around but not to fall off. And so that's helpful in leveling the TV out. So put both of those brackets on and then I'm going to go ahead and grab the mount. So now that these are on the TV, we have these two little wall plates that we're gonna have to put up. This piece goes inside like toward the middle part of the TV and this is obviously what it grabs onto. The brackets come out and they hook onto this wall plate here and then it sits behind the TV. And in order to know how far to put these two plates on the wall, the instructions actually have some numbers that correlate with the size TV that you have. Uh, you also can just measure this distance too, which is pretty straightforward. Once you have it set down where they're both going to be, you can just measure from the middle or like say from the right side of this left bracket to the right side of the right bracket and it's 27 inches. So you know that these two uh, brackets here need to be 27 inches apart from the center to this center. Uh, and that's a pretty basic measurement that you need to know. And then the other measurement would be where this wall plate sits relative to the TV. So we also can just hook that on here and hold it up square. If I have that sitting there, I can just simply see that it's about three and three quarters inches from the top of this bracket to the top of the TV. And those are the only two measurements that I need to know as my TV almost tips over. So three and three quarters inches and then 27 inches from left to right. And so now I'm gonna take those two measurements up to the wall and show you where I'm gonna put this TV in my wife's office here and how that math works. Okay, I'm on the wall now and the TV is gonna go in this general area and I've thought about this in a few different ways. First of all, I want to center the TV in this room. So it was roughly 67 inches each way. And I made a mark right here. That's going to be my center mark. Then we have to talk about height of the TV. And this TV is just over 25 inches. So about 25 and a quarter inch. Now, when people do art, they typically say that you want to see the upper one third of the art should be at eye level. So I'm a little taller. My wife's a little shorter. So I figured like, you know, if I went down a little bit here, this is a generally good spot that I have the TV. You'll have to, you know, use that correlation in your own installation. So like I said, eye level for the top one third or half of the image. So it's gonna be here and it's gonna leave about six or seven inches above those books for that cord to be visible, which again, I'm cool with and I wanna show you how that looks. 
And then as I had said, down three and three quarters inches from that top of that TV is that's where the top of the mount is. And then if it's 27 inches between those two marks, that's gonna be 13 and a half each way. So from this center mark, I can simply just take it and go 13 and a half and make a little scratch right there. And then I'll flip it and I'll go 20. And then I'll flip my tape measure and I'll put 27 right on that one and I'll scratch the other side. And that gives me the 27 inches of separation on those two points. And then it's just a matter of kind of marking up the wall and putting up those two brackets. Of course, I have to find the studs. I'll do that in a second as well. So center, top of TV, bottom of TV. This is the top of the mount, the three and three quarter we went down. And here's the 27 inches of separation between those two points on the bracket so that each of the brackets will hang in the middle of that. And so now I'm going to just square this up and I'll put the brackets up and we'll check for studs next. So checking for studs is pretty straightforward. You just press the button and find the stud. That one might be too far on the outside, so I probably cannot hit that stud. We'll mark it anyways. And that one's likely too far in to hit this, so that probably won't help either. This stud will likely work and that can help for securing the right side of the right mount. So I'll make a little line for our stud right here. This stud will not hit either of the brackets, neither will that stud. So we'll be okay hitting the right side of that stud and I'll just use toggle bolts for the rest. Very straightforward, I'll show you right now. So now that this is our line where the center of this has to be, I'll just line this up by putting that, the bracket at the top here and putting this little mark right in the center because it's 27 inches apart. And I will level this bracket out. And then I'm gonna mark where that one stud will hit right over here. And then I'll mark on the other side, I'm gonna have two toggle bolts on this left side. So we'll, we'll get this stud there and then two toggle bolts to the left. On the right side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just underneath that line, center it up level it out and in this case I'm going to do four toggle bolts so I'm going to go two right above where the pressure will be and then two to the far right here where we will have some support so one two three four again that stud wasn't going to help one two three four these will be in a stud those won't let me grab the toggle bolts first because we have to put those in and then we can drill into the stud after the fact so let me show you what toggle bolts I use and where you can get them so these flip toggle bolts are at Home Depot. They're really good. These are actually the 3 16 inch toggle bolts. That's the diameter of the bolt that'll go in. They have this uh, plastic sheathing to them that is pretty cheap, but it's metal on metal once it's done. So as long as you don't snap these, which they do snap once in a while. So I use these and uh, they require you to make a half inch hole through the drywall, which is kind of large for drywall holes. You could get the smaller little screw-in anchors, they're not quite as strong. They're just holding on to the drywall as they go in. These actually connect to the back of the drywall and it's very secure, so these can hold a lot more weight. I'm more comfortable with this, even though it has a larger hole it makes. When you take these out later, you can just putty over that half inch hole. It's not very difficult to do. So I'm gonna use these times six, and then at the end I'll use two of the screws. I probably won't even use the ones that come with the Samsung frame out because they're very difficult to get to work, so I'll probably just use my own drywall screw with a uh, washer on them for those two. So the goal with these toggle bolts is not to actually hit a stud. Half inch drill bit, I'm just gonna plow through all six of these holes and see what we find. So all six holes were made very easily. No plywood behind the wall. You know, none of them were actually where studs were. If you had plywood, then you could just drill drywall screws straight into the plywood, which would be easier. Or if you have a stone wall, you know, you have to put some anchors in there. 
And if it's in the studs, you know, I'm going to just use some drywall screws, some longer screws into that in a minute, because again, the TV is very light. I think it's like 20, 25 pounds flush against the wall. It'll be a very minimal load on the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these toggle bolts in now. I'll probably break a couple. You just snap it like this and get it straight. And then you just push it through that half inch hole. That little plastic catches on the way back and then you zip tie it. There we go. One down, five to go. Boom. Hey, no casualties. That's a first. All six in, good to go. So we have the four toggle bolts in this left one. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll hold the plate up where we needed it and I'm gonna drive these four in. I'm gonna drive them in about 95% so that I can just hand tighten it once I level this bracket out. So I'll do that on all four of these and we'll be good to go. So now I'll level this one up and tighten these all the way down. The TV itself has a little bit of a self-leveling feature, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but you might as well try to get it close, right? The reason that I hand tighten those is because if you use a power drill, you're either gonna strip that screw or you're gonna strip the bolt itself into the back of the toggle bolt and then they'll have no traction. Then you'll have to take it back off and start over. So it's always good to just hand tighten things at the end so you can kind of feel the tension that you have on it. So that bracket's on there very solidly. Let's move on to the right one. So again, I can put these two in and get them pretty tight and it'll get us pretty much level and then I'll just screw through and to get the other two drywall screws in. rusty washers. Get that in position there. Level it up. And by tightening those two, it's got it locked pretty much in position. Now I wouldn't put any weight on it until I have had put these two screws into that stud, but it'll hold it still while I pre-drill those two holes, or if I just use drywall screws, I can just slam those screws in. So I'm just gonna get some two inch drywall screws and just go straight into the wood. And because we're all lined up, I'm just gonna drive these two screws straight into the stud. There we go. And you could have used an impact, it's a little bit better for putting the actual screws in like that than this drill, but it's good to go. So before we hang the TV, I wanna double check this distance and make sure that center to center, that's 27 inches. So there you go, exact, or you can go from the left side to the left side and see it's 27. So these two brackets should fit right in there. Very strong, I'm good to go. I'm gonna get the client or the boss really, and we'll hang the TV up and the one wire will come down here and hide behind the books. Go to the right, and we'll set the one connect box on this right side, because there's power here. And we'll check out how it looks. And then I'm gonna go over kind of the pros and cons of putting that one wire in the wall, let you guys determine if that's right for you. All right, so we're here and have the brackets up. As I said, I got some fluffy help to help me lift the TV. So you ready to hang your TV quick? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Ready, we're gonna lift it up. Right. Ready, go on in, lift those brackets out. All right, get yours on, and mine on, I'm on. Okay, go ahead, get yours on. If I have to lift mine up, we can try it again. You wanna do it again? 
Here, hold on, Kobe. Oh, wait, it's Kobe. <laughs> Kobe's having a good time with it. There we go. <laughs> See? Super, e super easy way to install a Samsung frame. Probably should have stuck to the single mount in the middle, like the older Samsung frames, but that's for a different video. Anyways, all right, thank you. I will hide the wire. You come back in a bit, okay? All right, boom. And my little cameraman, you're good too. All right, out, PC. Boom. So we should have connected the one connect cord. I'll do that now. I know how to get it in there while it's up, but it's not the easiest thing to do. So I would recommend to put that one connect cord on when you have two people, uh, of course. But when you've installed a bunch of TVs, it's, you start to get a little hand-eye coordination that not everyone has. All right, so the TV's up and I have the one wire connected. So now I'm going to connect that one wire to the one connect box and power it all up. In order to make this look good, I'm actually going to tape the one wire below this bookshelf so that it's tight against the wall. So I'll pull it out, let you see how I do that, and we'll see if it looks good enough for you. All right, so we're back. Boss is here. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, I think it looks great. It only took two months. I'm glad it's finally up. Yes. Well, <laughs> we've been busy, right? Uh, does the cord bother you? Do you think that you really notice? No. No, you really can't tell. Not at all. Good deal. All right. Well, all done. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> all right. Okay, so she's happy. I'm happy. The TV's up. And as far as the one wire goes, I think that it was a good choice for us. I think it's a good choice for a lot of people to leave it exposed. This is a rental unit and we have installed this inside the wall before and it takes a lot of time and effort to get it back out. And to be honest, the one wire is not technically up to building code to be in wall. It's not in wall rated. So, you know, the options are you can put one of those boxes in the wall that I did on the G1 installation. If you want to check that out, it'd be the same thing for the Samsung frame. Put that in the wall, put the one connect box inside of that, and then the wire connects directly to the TV. Or you can channel this inside the wall. You can put it in the wall inside of a conduit, but even inside that conduit, it's not really technically up to fire code. So, you know, you have some issues with those kind of wires being in the wall. So for most people, this is really a good way to do it. This wire on this Samsung frame is not very noticeable. It's not like having a power cord and three HDMI cords next to it. So I highly recommend this. I know a lot of people in Europe do this with their Samsung QN95 and things like that because uh, they have stone walls and this is the only option. So I hope this video has been useful. Please smash the like button on your way out and let me know, would you install the Samsung frame like this with the wire exposed or would you just go for it and install it in the wall at the added cost and a little bit of added risk involved? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to smash the like button on the way out, subscribe and set the bell to all so you get all the notifications on when I upload the next video. And just like that, you can be the installer.